Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, we continue this analysis, the frame analysis. Uh, frame uh, with inclined column, column AB is inclined. So, now we uh, under step 2C. Under step 2C. So, in, in, in my previous video, uh, I have discussed uh, on how to calculate uh, N moment, M0. Uh, table number one, uh, where the frame uh, under step number two is no side sway frame. We have uh, we have put an artificial support at C so that the frame is properly restrained means there is no delta in the in the in the frame and the FEM we calculate due to external loading only. And this is the table that we have uh, produced. Okay, there are six member uh, and moment M not six value uh, six value now uh, we will continue to uh, to calculate the the r value r is restraining force uh, restraining force actually the r is uh, is the horizontal reaction uh, that is exist due to the support due to the support uh, the artificial support at c okay so uh, for for uh, for frame like this where uh, where we have uh, inclined column inclined column so uh, actually there are several uh, option to determine r to determine uh, to determine uh, r to determine ax and as well as dx okay uh, actually i have i have uh, done uh, one option uh, in in uh, last two example uh, in the, in the one note under example 12 if i'm not mistaken frame number 12 okay uh, so now i would like to introduce another option okay which i believe uh, this is uh, easier than uh, the previous one okay uh, but before that i hope you uh, watch the first uh, video on this uh, on this uh, uh, example uh, this frame the first video uh, where in the first video i have explained about the free body diagram about the internal forces uh, that is occur for each member okay so this is the frame this is the frame that we uh, analyze so r uh, since the the frame is uh, moving we assume that the frame is moving toward right direction so we have to put r uh, like this okay uh, r is in uh, in left direction okay so what are we going to do now is we want to uh, to write the shear equation to write the shear equation because r is in horizontal r r is in horizontal direction so to get to get the r value so we have to write uh, an equation uh, which include r uh, and it must include also all horizontal forces, including horizontal reaction, uh, which is exists in this frame. Okay, uh, so looking at the uh, at this frame at support A, at support A, uh, at support A, we find that uh, we have uh, it has A X, A X. And at support D, it has DX. And there is no more. There is no more. Okay. Means that for the for the shear equation, why why we uh we name it as shear? Because uh original original uh frame we uh we focus on the column. Uh column is vertical uh element and the shear is perpendicular. Uh, means the horizontal and the vertical is perpendicular. That is why we call it a shear equation. So uh, having this, so we will write the shear equation total fx is equal to zero. So it is ax minus dx minus r. And this is equal to zero. So I rewrite again here. Okay, for the shear equation, for the shear equation it is total fx is equal to zero so we have to draw the the horizontal reaction ax and dx in the diagram and we will write the equation as ax minus dx minus r 
is equal to zero. Okay, now, now our task is to determine the value of AX and DX. The value of AX and DX. Then only we can get the R value, the restraining force. Okay, the problem now is AX. The problem now is because member AB is inclined. Member AB is inclined. Since member AB is inclined like this, so we have AX and AY. So there are two unknowns. So, so having these two unknowns, what should we do? Okay. For for member for member uh, CD for member CD, it is as regular column, regular column where we have dx like this, and from this we can calculate, we can calculate the dx. But for AB, we cannot calculate it directly. We cannot calculate as usual because uh, there are two unknown ax and d. X. So, what we should do here is we have to apply the concept of internal forces by uh, draw uh, the free body diagram for each element and we put all the internal forces including shear, shear and uh, shear and shear force and axial force, shear and normal force in each element. Okay, we will draw like this. Okay, we draw it separately, member by member. Okay, so we have member AB, member BC, member CD. And since A is fixed, so fixed has a, has a reaction a AY, AX and MA. Okay, so for AY and M, uh, AY and AX, AY and AX, we label like this. Okay, this is shear. Uh, this is vertical force or a reaction in vertical direction. So we label as V1. Okay, V1. And uh, the uh, horizontal, uh, horizontal reaction, which is actually AX, we label as horizontal force H. And this is H1. H1. And uh, since there is no, there is no, uh, there is no uh, loading on the member. And remember the, the system, the structure must be in equilibrium. The member is also must be in equilibrium. Okay. Equilibrium means this V1 will be apply also at this position so that the system is in, equi in equilibrium. V1 must be balanced by V1. V1 must be balance, balanced by V1 but in opposite lah, in, in opposite direction. So this is also V1. V1, one negative, one positive. Total is zero in equilibrium. Total is uh, zero. Okay, H also, one is negative, one is positive, one is negative. So we have another one, we have another one in this direction. So this is H1, H1. Okay, don't forget we have moment, moment we get from table, moment we get from table, MAB and MBA. So the value, okay, we can... Put the value directly. MAB is 4.322 and 8.719. Okay, 8.4.3 and 8.7. 4.3 and 8.7, it is positive. 4.3. Okay, this is 4.3 and 8.7. Okay, so this is the free body diagram for member AB. Free body diagram for member AB. Okay, we move to member CD. Member CD. For member CD, we have DX, DY because of fixed support. DX, DY and MD. DX, we change to H2. H2, which is opposite with this. This is also H2. And we will have V 
2 which is opposite with this V2. Okay. And then we have moment MCD, MCD and MDC. Moment MCD and moment MDC. Okay. The value is negative uh, 5.5 and uh, two, negative 2.75. 5.5 and negative 2.75 5.5 negative all negative okay the value negative it is negative negative 5.5 and negative also 2 2.75 5.55 5.55 8.8.7 8.72 8.72 uh, 4.32, 4.32. Okay. So this is for CD. This is for CD where V, we have V2 uh, in opposite direction and we have H2 in opposite direction. So V2 is actually dy, H2 is actually dx, dx. Okay, so now uh, this uh, member CD is in equilibrium, is in equilibrium. Okay, now... We move to member BC. Member BC has a UDL. The value is 5 meter along 6 meter length. 5 kilo newton. 5 kilo newton per meter along 6 meter length. Okay. So beside member, we have to balance this as well. Okay. We have to balance this one as well and also this one okay so v1 v1 must be balanced by this means means that these two value will produce the the joint other uh, uh, previously we talking about joint moment this is actually come from uh, come from joint as well so joint itself must be in equilibrium that is why we get we get like this v1 in in uh, v1 in ab will be equal to v1 in in bc in bc so this is v b1 and h1 also in opposite direction in opposite direction we have this, this is H1 and we get V2 opposite and H2 opposite. And of course, the moment is uh, negative positive. It is negative 8.7. It is negative, it is negative 8.72. And positive and positive 5.55. This is 5.55. So these are the free body diagram. Free body diagram of each element of each element. So from this, we will start to calculate to calculate uh, or to analyze member BC first. Because once we get uh we get this, we will get this. So uh, this is actually uh, AY value. So once we get AY, we will get AX. Okay. So we start with member. Start with member BC. So start with member with BC. Start with member BC. Okay. For member BC, so we draw the diagram. Okay. So this will be v1 and v2 v1 and v2 okay the moment is one negative one positive the moment is one negative one positive this is 8.72 and 5.5 5 it is six uh six meter and five kilo newton per meter okay so now now we will calculate v1 and v v2 so to calculate this as usual we just need to use static equilibrium so by taking moment at okay one uh, is b one is c either one doesn't matter okay let's say we take b 
is equal to 0. So it is negative 8.72 plus 5.55 plus 5 times 6 times 3. Okay, uh, we minus by 6 times V2 and this is equal to 0. Okay, it is just like we analyze uh, simply supported beam. Okay, so, so having this, it is negative 8.72 plus 5.55 plus uh, 5 times 6 times 3. We divide by 6. So we get V2 is equal to 14.472 kilo Newton. This is V2. And after that, we just need to apply total Fy is equal to 0. So we will get V1. V1 is 5 times 6. 5 times 6. We minus by 14.472. So this is 15.528 kilo newton. 15.528 kilo newton. So we get we get a uh, v1, v1, and v1. This v1 from the diagram, from the diagram, this v1 is actually a y. Ay. So this is a Ay. So we can continue to analyze member AB. Okay, analyze member AB. Analyze member AB. So member AB. Okay, we get V1 is 15528. 15.528. 15 so here is A X A X and then we have moment. Moment is positive positive 4.328.4.328.7 4.32 okay and then of course we need to know we need to know this value okay we need to know this value the uh, the member ab member ab the the length of member ab is 5 meter so this is 3 meter 5 and 3 5 and 3, so another one is 4. 5 and 3, another one is 4. So, this is 5. This is 3. This is 3. This, so, this is 4. Okay. So, 90 degree. So, so we label this as A and B. So now by taking moment at B is equal to zero. Okay, using static equilibrium, using static equilibrium, it is 4.32 plus 8.72. Okay, we plus with 15.528 times 3. 15.528 uh, plus 3. We minus by 4, minus by AX times 4. AX times 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so this is 0. So AX, we get, we get this equal to 4.32 plus 8.72 plus... 15.528 times times 3 divided by 4. So we get AX as 14.906. 
This is 14.906. 14.906. 14 okay, now we analyze member CD. Now we analyze member CD. Now analyze member CD as usual. Okay, as usual, here is D, X, and you get moment negative, 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 negative. It is uh, 555275. 555275. Five, five, and the length is 9 meter. The length, uh, the, the L is 9 meter. Okay, so this is D and C. So taking moment at C is equal to 0. We get negative negative 5.55 minus 2.75 plus dx times 9. Plus dx times 9. So this is equal to 0. So dx is equal to 5.55 plus 2.75. We divide by 9. We get 0 0.9, 0 0.9 to 2 kilo newton. Okay, so this is the x. So this one we substitute into the shear equation. So now we substitute, substitute ax, which is 14.906, 14.906. Fourteen point nine oh six kilo newton and dx equal to zero point nine two two kilo newton into uh, the shear equation. Okay, so R is equal to R is equal to ax minus dx. And this is equal to AX 14.906 minus 0 0.922. AX minus DX. Okay, so, so we get R is equal to 14.906. We minus by 0 0.922. 0 0.922. So we get 13.984 kilo newton. So this is R value. Okay, the restraining force. Okay, for uh, step number two, the restraining force R is equal to 13.984. Okay. So that's the end of uh, step number two. Uh, we will uh, move to step uh, step three in the next video. Thank you very much.